All right, so we are back with our latest installment of Kickstarter unboxings. This one uh, is a lot bigger box than I thought it was going to be. Um, and it is for Samantha's number five game of all time. And my number six game of all time, and that is going to be Everdell, the complete collection. So let's go ahead and jump in here and take a look at this giant box this is massive like just straight massive so we have the everdell mistwood expansion here so i cannot imagine how much table space this game is now going to take up with these expansions but i'm excited to find out yeah and see so i'm gonna set that off to the side i have the deluxe resource vessels so I have 3D printed, back when we had a 3D printer, before it kind of went out. Died. Yes, before it died. So I had some 3D printed little uh, cases that I had printed off, but I got these with this Kickstarter uh, just because I liked them a little bit better. I like the diversity in the different containers, and I think it's safe to say that Everdell is a game that we'll always keep a hold of. Yeah. Um, and then we have the... Everdell expansion of New Leaf. So this is adding a train station, as I believe, um, and all kinds of goodies there. So I'm pretty excited to add these. I know at some point I'm going to try to play a game that has all of the expansions in it. So, and then let's go ahead and pop out. This is the complete, the big old box. Can you take that box for me, please? Thank you. All right, so we got the big old box, and this is going to include the storage trays and everything. So let me go ahead and pop this open. There wasn't any padding in the boxes, so I'm hoping everything comes um, without damage, I guess I should say. So we'll see. But again, this box. Everything was massive. Mm -hmm. Okay. Put that down. All right. Wow. And it is a definitely a big old box. <laughs> Where are we going to put that? Well, it's On the it's shelf? not like I know it's not like uh it's it's narrow, right? It's not wow. like thick like Gloomhaven kind of stuff, but it looks like it's probably the same length as Gloomhaven. I don't think there's anything else in that box if you no. want to double check. So let's go ahead and uh, let's jump into the big old box here real quick. I don't see any damaged corners, so that's always a good sign. The box itself looked like it was in pretty good, at least the shipping box. So you got this sleeve I'm gonna pop that off wow it's so tall I'm gonna hit the camera <laughs> yeah. pop that off so then you have the big old box the complete collection man that is a massive box you know you see pictures of it or you might see other videos of it but this is just this is probably the biggest box that we have and that might include foundations of Rome I think this is bigger than foundations of Rome yeah, so let's go ahead and see what's under the hood and it's gonna be a whole lot of trays which i am so thankful for because this game is a beast to set up right now and everything's kept in baggies in our current yeah. but here you're gonna have all the breakdown of the trays i love that it tells you what goes where um we have the wooden ever tree so i believe that'll hold that but all your little pieces and we're gonna do a uh i'll do a reboxing i'll put everything away and i'll show you guys how it's all organized just so you know what it's gonna look like um when you got it all packed away just because i think that's useful i don't know if a lot of people like that or not but it's something i always look for when i do see these videos so yeah but let's take a look so you got your tray here that's gonna hold all of your so right here's the tree that's gonna hold the tree. Here's the tray that's gonna hold all of the meeples, which is a ton, because these expansions add new characters to play as. Um, then you have this, I believe this is the Pearl Brook 
So you're gonna put all of your wonders in there and your little signs for open or close. So you're gonna have that there. Let's wiggle that out. Okay. We'll put these off to the side. Then you're gonna have, let's see, I have what's under here. Oh, we have the Gilded Book. So this is a comprehensive rule book. And this thing is thick. Yeah. This is a thick, which- Did they combine all the rule books in one? Yes. So they took all the rule books from all the expansions and they put them all in this book. And there's two. So you have the archive and you have the, the comprehensive book here. Wow, that's fancy. So, yeah, I like that because then you don't have to go and have five, six rule books. Yeah. I feel like if you have a game that has a bunch of expansions, like do something like this. Like right. it's just so much easier, more convenient. Then you're gonna have all of your resources here. And it looks like you can actually even put the deluxe ones right on in there. So that's nice. Mm -hmm. So they'll just fit right in that spot. You got some more coins, some little wooden pieces here. I don't know if those are more of those, uh, might have to add stickers to them. I believe this is an upgraded saddle. So there were some issues with the previous saddles. Those are an, a uh, kind of like a replacement. I, don't, I guess I shouldn't say upgraded, but this is where all your resources are gonna go. And I love that it's labeled. Like I know exactly where the pebbles go. I know where the wood goes. I know where the different tokens go, the berries. Like that's nice. Yeah. It's always helpful when I'm setting up and tearing down. And every single one of them have these like cardboard boxes. Which is interesting. You love a good insert. I do. Here we go. Here we're going to have this. Looks like this is for the train expansion. The new leaf uh, one that we just, that's brand new. So it looks like they're going to go in here. You see the little stickers for the little tokens there. Um, and it looks like maybe there's a score pad there as well. So that's where you're going to put all the stuff from that expansion. At least that's what it looks like. I could be wrong. All right, let's see what's over here real quick. Oh, oh. There we go. So here we're going to have, I'm going to guess all the cards are going to go in here. And there are some cards already in there. So you got your cards here. Um, you're going to have some, I don't know what these are. Let's see here, base game, main deck. Uh, Nightweave, I don't know if that's for the solo, that might be for solo mode stuff for the Nightweave. But this is where you're probably gonna put all your cards, keep all of those. Um, and then, let's see, what are, are these stickers? Oh man, I don't know how I feel about stickers. If, if these are going on the pieces, I think you're gonna be the one who put them on. Oh gosh. So these are literally stickers for every character. And I think even like the mount, like the, the mounts that you get on. All the little critters? All the little critters have their own stickers. Oh, sick. Look at that. And this is even the new ones too. You have all of these new characters. There's butterflies that you can play now. How cool is that? Wow. There's all the little adventurers, the travelers for the, oh um, my God. yeah, for Spirecrest. There's the frogs for um, Pearl Brook. Oh, more. Look at all the different colors now. Yeah. And then there's your mounts that you're going to be able to get. There's those, and I think I missed one. Yeah, right there. So, yeah, if you want stickers on them, but I, I don't know how the stickers will work on the mounts. So that'll be interesting if you put stickers on the actual meeples, how that'll work. And then last but not least, I don't know how I feel about these, like, extra little boxes, but... Yeah, and then you have... This here, which I think is for all the player, all the boards. Um, oh, it's like dinged up, but yeah, it's got like a felt to it. Nothing broken, which is good. So yeah, looks like it might have got a little hit on the back. I can see through a little bit here, but then you got the back of the box. Boom. Yeah. So yeah, that's a uh, that's the big old box. So let me pause this here to clear the big stuff out and then I'll open up the expansions real quick. All right, so we're back with the uh, the expansions and the deluxe vessels. So let's go ahead and pop these open. All right, so here you're gonna have <clears throat> the leaves. So I did have some 3D printed leaves that held those cards up for the little uh, yeah. uh, events and whatnot. 
I forget what they call them to be honest. So yeah. And then we got these these ones. These are gonna be better quality than the ones I have. Well, so that's good. Colors. Yeah, which you love. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have the different trays. So you got the basket. I'm pretty sure that's for the berries. Yeah. You got the little clam shell. Pearls. For the pearls, yep. You're gonna have the little acorns and everything. So you're gonna have these. Um, so you have those there. You're gonna have. I guess I just popped that out. Look, that's easy. You got the trunk there, so that's nice. I'm I'm pretty pumped. I'm not gonna lie. Little acorns. So you got the little. But I think this is where the wood goes. If I remember right. Oh, okay. Then yeah, that makes sense. I mean, that's the most. And then you got this, which might be the little pebbles. I think. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, so there's those there. So I'll set those off to the side. I'm pretty excited to organize all this. <laughs> I'm gonna have so many baggies left over from what I have already. Yeah. So then we're gonna jump into Mistwood. So you got Mistwood there. I did not get the art book though. I think that was the only thing I didn't get. If there was any art that I wanted, it was gonna be that giant map. But look, because now we have five expansions, right? So. Ooh, panorama. That kind of looks sweet. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've heard of that one. That looks that looks good. Uh, the Princess Bride. I didn't, haven't heard the, about that one either. Oh yeah, they have a game. Yeah. Oh no, this is a new one. Oh. Is it's it a different one? from the one that you see at Target. Oh. <clears throat> mm. Okay. We have the rules here for Mistwood, which I will probably not look at because I have the comprehensive one, which is nice, but. It's nice to have if you don't have the comprehensive one. Some tokens here, pumped out real nicely. Here we're gonna have some more boards just like uh, for, um, what's it called, Belfair. They have those kinds of boards it looks like. This might be for solo mode, because I know the Nightweave, I believe is in this expansion. Yes, for solo. And here's all your new characters which I know you'll be excited about because you have these beautiful butterflies mm -hmm. and then you got uh the spiders and you got some little weasel looking thing I don't know a couple little weasel looking things so I believe that those are the nice chunky ones you know extra bags which hopefully I'll never have to use you know, the frogs available for the pearl brook yeah Let's see, we're gonna have, oh, the ability cards. So let's see what they are real quick. I think this will be good to look at. I'm always excited about the new abilities. So I think one's a pig. I said it was a weasel, but it's a pig. <laughs> so we have pigs. So we're gonna have pigs in this one. Uh, stouts, butterflies, spiders, and yeah, just an extra little card there. So yeah, I'm pretty, pretty excited about that. Looks good. Sweet. And then all of the cards, which do I do all the, I'll probably just do a quick skim of all the cards. Look at this. This is, I think for the solo mode, giant spider. <laughs> Although maybe there should be a card to where you can play the giant spider and spider crest. <laughs> yeah, that would make sense. That would be pretty cool. And then now the uh, the deck of cards just got so much bigger. Oh, and it looks like there's some other cards in here as well, probably for solo. Yeah, tons and tons of cards. So oh. I don't know what those are all for. We're gonna find out, but it looks like there's more cards that are gonna go in the deck. Yeah. So that's cool. Like new locations. Yeah, some new places, yep. Oh, sweet. Some castle looks like, the, the Terry Hare, so yeah. I saw a different farm. Mm. Yeah, it just looks interesting. Yeah. Okay. Maybe some new uh, unique critters there, it looks as well. So we'll see how that goes. And then I'm guessing this dice is also going to be for solo mode, right? Mm -hmm. So and I, I think there was solo mode originally, anyway. I don't think I ever played it, but you had Rugwart. He was the rat. You never liked the cards. Oh, yeah. I didn't uh, like the rest. Yeah. You didn't yeah. like the cards when they were included in the game, but that was like a little mini 
card set. Oh, so you never played it solo? No, I never played Everdell okay. solo. I'm, I'm tempted to now, especially if setup is a lot easier. Um, let's see, we got more more stuff there. Here is a oh, new leaf. So this is the new leaf expansion, which is one that I was super excited about too. Because well, now it adds a whole nother board, so I don't know how excited you can be about that. But you're now we're gonna have boards on every end of the base game. So you got your rules here with tickets and everything. So more characters to play as. A little more stuff for you to punch out. Yep, more. There's the tickets. Looks like some new events that you could do, like the scenic flight or uh, big city. So it looks like we've got some new events that'll be uh, available to us in the game, potentially. Here's the actual train station board. Mm. Sticking with the already gorgeous art. So that looks cool. Now there's a train rolling through Everdell. We're going to need a bigger table. Look at this sweet velvet bag. This nice little baggie here. Ooh, what goes in there? I don't know. We'll find out. Something's going to oh, go in there. Maybe. These are the extra characters. So here I know we got bats. Let's see what else we got. I don't have to look at their player abilities and stuff. So we got the snail. That looks like a snail. That's got to be a snail. We got a bat. This looks like a bee. And then that is, I don't know what that one would be. What do you think? This looks like a cat. Cat of some sort, so we'll have to see. And then you have the little adventures there. Ooh, we got some nice little fancy tokens. These look like uh, like those little, um, when you stamp a letter. I don't know what the heck you call it. The wax. Yes. So that's what they look like. That's cool. And they have little symbols and stuff on the back, so I don't know if that pertains to anything, but we will find out. Some more baggies. Let's go over here. We got a bunch of little cards. Um, I just want to look at the abilities, because I'm always excited about new abilities to play. There are, I'm going to have to look up and see exactly how many new, how many characters you can actually play as in this game. So it looks like we have some new forest locations or um, maybe some, not forest locations, but events like objectives that you're going for. There's some new forest locations. The snails, there's their little ability. So during setup, draw seven cards and place them in a face down stack. When your opponent plays a green card, you can give them a card from the stack to also activate one for yourself. I won't go through all of them. It is cats. Mm -hmm. The other one is cats. And the honeybees. So that's cool. And then we're going to have what looks like tickets for people potentially. So we got a group of people, almost like I wanted posters, but I'm guessing they're tickets that if you get them what they need, they can take the train. That might be what you can do there. So you got that. And then last but not least for this one, we got some more cards. So you'll have even larger stack of cards here so it looks like more cards that you're going to be able to get to so we got air balloons um bakers a bank um a chipsmith city hall conductor uh, a diplomat let's see the everwall freight car of course gardeners greenhouse a hotel there's a lot more in this one it looks like cards there's an inventor a lamp lighter a library, a locomotive, a magician, the main road, a mayor, yeah, these are all a miller, a museum, a photographer, a spider photographer, check that out, <laughs> a poet, tea house, yeah, so lots of cards for this one. This all look like they're going in the, the main deck kind of thing. So that's that one. So now I'm going to go through the task of Putting these all in the big old box, and I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's all put together. And I probably won't be able to lift it, but we'll see what happens. So, I'll be right back in like an hour. <laughs> Alright, so, we're back. Everything is organized. Every expansion got in there. It took a little while because it is a lot of stuff. But, let's go ahead and show you what it looks like all put away like it's supposed to. Alright. So we have just the little layout, I have that on top. 
So first you're going to have, <clears throat> here on the left, you're going to have all of your, your Everdell tree that's here, and then underneath are all of your little meeples. So I kept them in bags and they fit just fine. That way you don't have to dig and pull out every single one at a time. You can just find out who you want, pull them out. Um, but obviously I'd have to have a big bag for that one. So that's how I did it. I put them all in there and I even left the tokens in with like the, what are they called? Quatzels or whatever. And the oh, rats. Ox Oxel. Oxels. Oxel. Oxelots. 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 Yes, I'm pretty sure. So that's going to go there. Okay. And then here is where all of your wonders are going to go. And that's pretty much all that's in there. So, um, you just have your wonders in there. That's it. Over here, you're going to have your, your comprehensive rule book, as well as the archive here. So if you need to look up different things, you can just based on the words. Okay. Then here you are going to, I'll just pull it out. Going to have your trays. Uh, I got to put some stickers on these. Um, so let me do this. So I take it out of there. It holds all of your, if you have the deluxe holders, it just holds everything in there, right? And then I, you keep your solo dice here. There's, I kept the cardboard tokens for a lot of things and I'm just gonna keep them here on the side uh, in little baggies, but that's pretty much the only thing. I put my saddles there, um, that kind of stuff. So that is really nice. Yeah, so it, it really, Really pops. Everything stays in place. Um, I did a whole like turn it upside down, shake it kind of thing. And some of these smaller little wooden discs might move into a different area. But uh, it should be fine just sitting on your desk. I tried to do it with no hands, like covering the cover. And it all spilled out and I had to fix it. But I uh, tested it so that I didn't have to. Yeah. All right. Then here you are going to have, <clears throat> you're going to have the little baggie from the New Leaf expansion. You're gonna have the player boards from Belfair as well as the player board that's gonna come with the uh, Mistwood expansion. You got your score pad. You got, I put the market uh, here because it didn't really wanna fit in there and it fits just fine in with the bag and everything. But here you're gonna be your little locations from Pearl Brook. So you'll be able to throw those on real quick, just like so, everything sits in quite well. Little baggy string is sticking out for me. Okay. And then underneath that, I actually um, like, so I'll pull this out. I actually like, uh, you know how this part is like felt? Oh yeah. I don't understand all the little boxes that they have with like all the actual things because sometimes it can be a bit of a pain. But you'll have all your boards and they actually have it laid out as to what boards go on top of which, but it's nice because it's, it's nice and soft for the boards. You don't have to worry about getting torn up. So I do like that. That is a nice little felt there. It protects your, your boards, all of them, okay. which is nice. So that's good. And then you have all of your cards. So here in this little insert, I'm just going to take the top part off. I want to actually take it out of the box. But I want to show a little bit. So they give you all these dividers for the different cards, depending on what they're from, um, what little card packs you have. So legends, the extra, extra, um, through the seasons. So all this stuff they have, even for the small cards, it might be a little difficult to see, but you have them broken up based on what expansion they came from or um, the type of card that you need. So I do like that instead of just having a whole huge stack of cards. I like being able to divide them out and being able to know, okay, I can just grab these and go. And maybe I want to throw these in or throw those in. I can do that easily without having it to take up too much time. Um, you're going to put your tickets and your, uh, your little events in here. That's where those are going to go. You're going to have your little journeys over here as well as the market tiles are going to go in this little space. Um, and they all sit in there real nicely. If you have, as you can see, there's plenty of space if you have the um, sleeves, but if you don't, you do have the little foam blocks, which makes it really nice because you don't have to worry about the cards falling over and then trying to pick them all up off the bottom. So that is it. So yeah, it all fits in there really nicely. It fits on a couch shelf. It is deeper 
than a calyx shelf. So yeah. you're not going to be able to um, kind of sit it back in unless your, your shelf is uh, far away from the wall. But it does fit on a calyx shelf. So that's a good thing as well. But yeah, so that's going to be the unboxing and reboxing of Everdell, the complete collection. So please like, comment, subscribe, and click the little bell icon so you get a notification every single time we post a video. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. See ya.